Let us all say amen. <coughs> Come on, let us all say amen again. Amen. If you love him this morning, say amen one more time. Amen. amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. I, I, like to, I like to look at it like what David said. Amen. In spite of what all is going on and whatever might else be happening, I'm still saying I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Simply why? Because he backed up in forgetting not all of his benefits towards me. Amen. Amen. God didn't have to bless us this morning. He didn't have to touch us this morning. He didn't have to wake us up this morning. Amen. He did not end in waking us up. He didn't have to clothe us in our right mind. He didn't have to give us uh, 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 activity of our limbs. Amen. He didn't have to do anything but he did and for that we owe him. Amen. The praise. Hallelujah. Oh, he said, oh, if men would only praise me. Amen. He does so much for us. Can I get a witness? He does so much for us. Amen. He ought to just be able to get uh, uh, some praise out of us. Amen. And the kind of praise that we ought to give him should be the kind where we're not pumped and primed and amen. And pumped and primed and primed and pumped and, 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 and prodded. Amen. He's been too good to all of us. Amen. He has been merciful to all of us. He's been kind to all of us. Amen. amen. And we ought to just give him the fruit of our lips. Amen. We ought to just give him the fruit of our hands. Amen. Because God's been just that good. Amen. Glory to his name. And we we, uh, we bless God, amen, today, the great God of our salvation for just being that God that he is, that God of love, that God of joy, peace, understanding, patience, because we sure enough need it, don't we? Amen. <laughs> amen. We need it regardless of what we, some folks think they don't need patience and grace and Mercy, amen. They think they already done, you know, let them ride, mama be, amen. But last time I checked, uh, like David said, his mercies endureth forever, amen. And the purpose for that is because we need it. Can I get a witness? Amen. Bless his wonderful name on this morning, amen. We greet you, amen, in divine love, amen, and in spite, amen. Uh, we don't have our musician this morning, amen, but it's still a wonderful day, a good day amen. to serve and praise the Lord, amen. It's still a good day to worship his holy name, amen. Reading in our hearing, our scripture reading this morning, we're going to uh, hop over, amen, to, amen, a passage of scripture uh, our beloved brother, amen, brother David, <clears throat> the penner of the Psalms, amen, Psalms 32, this Psalm of David is talking, suggesting about a prayer doing distress, amen. a prayer doing distress, and certainly, amen, in today's time, in today's perspective, we are living in a time of distress, amen. We're living in a time of peril, we're living in a time of turmoil, amen. And the reality to it all is that our strength, our help, and all of our help comes from the Lord, amen. amen. Psalms 32, a prayer during distress, Psalm of David reads these words, Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, and in those spirit there is no God. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through, though my roarings all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy 
upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer sea life. I acknowledge my sins unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou hast the iniquity of my sins, see life. For this shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest he find. Surely in the flood of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Selah. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eye. By thy not, by ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must he held in with in with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Yes, be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Amen. God bless you, and God may God bless the reading and the hearing of his written and even now spoken word. May it bring salvation to those that are lost and edification to those that are saved. Amen. 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 And praise God. Father God, we come this morning to you once more again saying thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we come this morning saying thank you with gratitude in our hearts, praises on our lips. Yes, God, we thank you today for this another day. We thank you, oh God, for being merciful, kind, patient, and, oh God, loving towards us in spite of ourselves, in spite of our contrariness and our unwillingness and our, oh God, not, not, not being obedient to your word, your will, and your way, you being yet a sovereign God, hallelujah. You being yet a merciful God, bless your name. You yet being a God of love, a God of love, a God of love. You, one more day, you look beyond our faults. Hallelujah. And you saw to our knees. The Lord, we don't take that for granted today. We want to first say thank you for being that loving of a God. Bless your name today. We want to say thank you for being that loving of a God that did not give us what we deserved, but gave, oh God, yet another chance, gave yet another opportunity, gave yet one more opportunity, one more chance. To get it right and to live for thee. Oh, how we magnify your name today. Your name is worthy to be praised. Your name is worthy to be praised. Your name is worthy, hallelujah, to be praised. If we had 10,000 tongues, we could not use them enough. If we had 10,000 hands, we couldn't clap or use them enough to give justice to your name. But Lord, such as we have, this morning, such as you have given us, and such as we have, we lift it, we use it to glorify your holy and righteous name this morning. We lift our voices and we say thank you for being a good God. We clap our hands and say hallelujah to your name because we realize and know that hallelujah is the highest praise. How we magnify you, how we magnify you, how we magnify your name today. Lord, we pray right now that you bless our worship. Let it be, O oh God, a sweet sound in your ear. Let our worship be as a sweet-smelling Savior to your nostrils today. Lord, if whatever sins we may have committed, omission and commission, whether we knew or not, Lord, forgive us right now. 
We want to enter into your courts with thanksgiving, as David said, and into your courts with praise. We want to be thankful unto you, and we want to bless your name. And for the reason why, because, Lord, you've been good. Lord, you've been good. You've been good. And we want to praise your name. We don't want to have sacrificial praise. We want to give you pure and genuine praise. That's what we want to offer you today. Oh God, we pray and we thank you for all of those, oh God, a part of the body that have made their way out today. Thank you for, oh God, allowing us to simmer yet another week, oh God. Lord, you kept us. You let nobody get hurt. You didn't let nobody get sick. No one had to go to the hospital. Lord, we thank you. We thank you today. And so now we ask that you would just bless us as we enter into worship. We pray, oh God, that we would uh, magnify your name and just praise you for just being the great God of our salvation that you are. Yes. Bless those that would want to be here and couldn't make it, couldn't be here. Bless those that don't want to be here and ain't trying to make, trying to come. Yes. They need you the most. Yes. Yes. But we pray today yes. that in all that we do, it will be pleasing, Lord, unto you as we ask that you allow our lives yes. to bring glory to your name. And we will be careful to give your name praise, Lord. We will be careful to give, exalt your name. We will be careful to continue to worship, praise, magnify, uplift your holy and righteous name. Hallelujah. These and all of the blessings we ask in your precious son, Jesus' name. And for his name's sake, we pray. We ask it all and everyone in agreement with this prayer. Put your hands together for God and say amen. Amen. And amen. I was taught amen. Uh, you don't just read everybody's stuff. Amen. My daddy taught me if it ain't yours, you just pick it up so we read it and if it ain't yours, amen. <laughs> That's that old school mentality, but it, it makes sense, amen. amen. You might not be, it might be something not for you. Amen. It's in somebody else's business, just picking up something reading it. But in that in that in that vein, uh, we, uh, Mama is asking if um, we uh, stay for a bit after service. She'd like to have a meeting. Have, have, like to have a, a meeting after service today. Amen. And then at the end of the that salutations, she said, "Thank you and love." Amen. 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 Before Mama, she wants to meet with us all. Amen. And uh, we'll yield we'll give space and time for that. Amen. And to go further into what, amen, um, is um, on God's agenda for the work. Amen. 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 And ask that you govern yourselves accordingly. And I say that because, you know, sometimes a lot of people, you know, we come, we worship, and we get our call, we zoom away. Amen. Amen. And that's understood. That's cool. But um, if you will, for space after this afternoon, uh, give a moment. We want to all yield and uh, share in this space of meeting as Mama, uh, you know, comes to us with what uh, she wants to share with us. Is that all right? Is that cool? Yeah. Is that Amen. cool with everybody? Yeah. Amen. All right. All right. God bless you. Look forward to that that time of meeting. The Bible says. Will a man rob God? Hallelujah. <laughs> There's not a answer there to really uh, suggest it, but if we be honest, when we read that passage of scripture, when it says, will a man rob God? The answer is yes. Man will and man does rob God. Yes. Yes. But it does ask the question by saying, wherewith have we robbed? God. Hmm. And again, the answer, not there, but the answer suggests is moreover, in tithe and in offerings. Yes. But it even proceeds by saying, for this you're cursed with a curse, even the whole generation. Then he goes to speak yes. more yes. emphatically, he says, uh, uh, you're cursed with a curse, even the whole generation. He says, prove me now 
herewith saith the Lord of hosts. He identifies himself as who's speaking, not just anybody, one of the apostles or one of the disciples. Of it's God talking. Amen. And he said, prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. That you shall not have room enough to receive. That simply suggests it's trust God. Can I get a witness? Amen. Trust God, take him at his word, yes, and see if he won't supply, supply, supply your need and do exactly what he said he would. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But that condition is off of us doing what he asks us to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Giving unto him. He said, he said, uh, he wants, he don't want you to give it grudgingly, yes. nor of necessity. He said, it's a way to give it to me. If you don't give it to me, give it to me happy. He wants a, he said, God loves a happy. He loves a cheerful. He loves a, a, a hilarious yes, giver. Yes, yes. See, I don't want nothing that you give to me grudgingly either. I'll tell you, you know, you know, you know it's all right. Thank you, but you keep it. Right. That's what God's saying. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. He wants you to have a joyful spirit. Amen. Thanking him, glorifying him, because it was him who gave it to you in the first place. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And you're only giving him back, amen, a portion of what he gave to you and asks you to give back to him. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like we still on the winning out of that. Amen. Mama, mama, mama yeah. we still get the winning end of that. Amen. Yeah. That's right. He said he'll bless men to give you a hundredfold and it'll be pressed down and shaken together and running over. You on the winning end of that thing. Amen. So just, just trust and obey God. Amen. Yes, sir. And let him be God. Amen. amen. For you. We ask that we would render unto that amen that we would give amen to our to God in our tithe and an offering. Going to ask for 10% that you would give him back what we gave you. So on the first day of the week, let every man lay by him in store that which God has prospered him. Lord, we love you today and we thank you for your goodness and grace. We thank you for all of your loving kindness and all of your tender mercies. We bless your name today because the Lord continuing with all that we are and all that we do, all that we say, you are yet a loving God. You're yet a merciful God. You look beyond our faults and you see to our needs how we magnify you, how we bless your name today for being that good of a God unto us. And now, God, we pray know that we cannot preach, we cannot pray, we cannot sing, we cannot lift our voices to you in praise unless and until we ask you, oh God, to look over any faults that we may have, look over any transgressions that we may have made, look over any iniquity that might reside in our members. Plus, Lord, we want to please you. We want to be pleasing in your sight. We want to be used by you. And we want to lift you up, oh God. So all men can see. You said, if I and if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. And so God, we pray that you bless this word. For oh God, as we have supplied the mechanics, we pray now. That you will send the dynamics. That you will bless this word to our hearts today. Let it be edifying, oh God. Let it be encouraging. Let it be uplifting, oh God. But most of all, let it be soul saving. Lord, then we believe that all is in the house. All that is in the house are in the heart of safety. So we thank you for that. But even in the midst of that, as the word you have for us today. We pray that it would have clarity, power, and understanding that the least would hear thereof and be able to receive that which is in it for their individual needs, O oh God. But moreover, in that we all need you, speak to us through your written word today. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh. And we will be careful to continue to give your name, praise, glory. All worship is unto thee. It's all in your blessed, sweet, immaculate, loving, precious name we pray. Everyone share with me and say amen. 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 And amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord, amen.
who's on my side. Yes. Amen. I don't even want to start trying to think about it if it wasn't the way I'm on Amen. my side. Amen. 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 That ain't a thought I'm trying to have. Amen. 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 I need it. Yes. I need them. Truly on my side. Amen. <laughs> To the great God of our salvation, amen. God bless you. Give the choir one more hand, amen. Yet holding up the bloodstained banner for the Lord, amen. Amen. And to um, Pastor, amen, I, I didn't know, but um, you're more than welcome, amen. You're more than welcome to, amen, uh, have your rock. Well, let me not say it that way because you're with family. And amen. that's more over your Bless you, First Lady. Amen. We, we uh, see you and we thank God for you. And uh, Lil Doc, amen. Lil Doc, right there in the middle. Amen. Amen. But you're more than welcome, amen, to join the, the, your other rightful place, amen, in the pulpit with us this morning. But again, we thank you for your presence, amen. Amen. Um, happy Mother's Day. Amen. Amen. Y'all thought I forgot. Day and give our drum my hand, amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you, man. And I told you before, he's faithful, amen. Yeah, yeah. I said, He's faithful. Yeah. Give my hand, amen. Love on him, amen. Yeah, yeah. See, because that's, that's where I start yeah. over there with my dad on the drums at, at my daddy's church, amen. And you know what? Those, there was a lot of studies. I had some dejected feelings over there hitting them drums. Amen. Y'all ain't hearing me. Amen. I ain't gonna go into for various reasons. But some of them you might already know. Amen. But regardless, he's faithful. And he's here. Every Sunday. Amen. And now he deserves love. Amen. We love him. This is all I've been told. Amen. Uh, I love you, first of all, because you got the right beat, amen, <laughs> amen. The see, when it, like, you know, you had to say, like, when you're, in a, when you're a uh, musician, of right sort, beat. and you hear somebody doing what you do or can't do, and if they ain't doing it right, pass, you know, that, hey, uh, you know, they get in your deep, amen, you don't want to go move them or nothing, that ain't your place, but, hey, man, you know, come on with it, you know, but you playing them drums to the glory and honor of God, man. Yes, he do. God's going to continue, he's going to bless you. Even though the devil is because you're humble, and yet you serve, amen, right, with a humble right. spirit. And that's acknowledged, amen. That's right, that's See, right. I believe in acknowledging them, man. <laughs> I believe in lifting them up. Because if we don't, they win. Right. And it'd be real easy to get them, because they're going to give them more than what we can give them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure enough, you better hear me. So we, we love them, amen, love them. Let them know how to serve us at those sons. You sure play them, Jonah, they encourage you. Yeah, yeah. Amen, because we real quick to come at them. We real quick to come at them with the rod. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. We real quick to talk about what they ain't doing, should do, they do. We can do that too, so if we ain't doing good, let's encourage them, amen. Yeah. I believe in that, amen, encourage them, amen. And it's so quick for us to jab them up by something, amen. Show some love to them, amen. And let them know you love and appreciate them, amen. Amen. Right. amen. Right. And he brings much value to our worship hour, amen. Yes, he he much value to his amen. He ain't just playing, but he is playing. He can play, amen. Yeah. And so we love you, baby. We love you this morning. We love you, <laughs> I believe in encouraging our young folks. Amen. 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 Cause they they from a they from a they from a thumbnail of still being in church. Yes, yes. When they get to a certain age where they, you know, mama ain't gotta they, they ain't gotta go or come because mama say, yeah. you know, amen. But they are coming. I believe that's something that we need to, we need to hold on to. Amen. Amen. And harvest with them, amen. Because if 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 a, if a breath, if a wing's breath of something get in their spirit that's more enticing and more tantalizing, we done lost them. Amen. Amen. So why they here and why they worship the Naisha too? Amen. 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 Naisha too. Amen. You may not know how much it may take for that baby to sing, amen, every Sunday. It's just us few. Amen. amen. In this morning without the music, it takes something, amen. Yeah. 
I said it takes something. Yeah. Yeah. Sis as well, amen. She grown, but it takes something. Yeah. Yeah. And they being dutiful, amen. Dedicated to their post. Yeah. Ain't nothing but God loving that, amen. Yeah. amen. And we encourage you today. Keep on keeping on, amen. In the name of the Lord, amen. Right. But happy Mother's Day <clears throat> to all of our moms, all of our mothers, amen. All of our Amen. All of our mothers are loving, wonderful mothers, not just our, amen, our mothers of Zion, but we sure enough thank God for them, amen, but to every one of our mothers, amen, that make up um, this body of believers, we love you one and all, and we say happy Mother's Day to each one of you. Continue, that he would continue, that he would continue to bless you, each and every one of you, amen, continue to lead, guide, and direct you, because you didn't make it this far on your own, amen. and you already know that, amen, you made it this far with the Lord, amen, and so we pray that he would continue to lead you, and guide you, amen, um, safely through, amen, and bring you to a place that is beyond pleasing him, but a place that's going to please you too. Amen. Because he said he'll give you the desires of your heart if you delight yourself in him. Call back to me somebody. Yeah. He also said if you commend, you commit your way unto him, the Lord, he'll bring it to pass. Amen. Yeah. And that's what you want. Ain't that what you want, mamas? Yeah. You want him to, the desires in your heart. You want him to bring them to pass. Can I get a witness? Yeah. You got some stuff you praying for. Amen. And he done done some of them, but he ain't done all of them yet. You got some stuff that you need and want God to do for you. Amen. Amen. Keep trusting in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Keep trusting in the Lord. Amen. I, I typically, amen, and I'm so grateful to God to have my own mama. Amen. Amen. My all of my friends, the brother, and see her, amen. She, she, she learned some things. Now she didn't got hooked up with Mama B, amen. Her and Mama, her and Mama Brian partners and Mama Maddie, they got a. I'm telling y'all, they got a whole little, little, little thing they got, amen. And they on the phone, connected with each other. They talking and talking, and amen, talking about uh, uh, food and movies and. Uh, 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 was them cruises and all that and having a good time in the middle of with each other. That's beautiful. Amen. 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 You is not over the hill and you ain't got no foot in the grave yet. Amen. 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 I, you are, every time she gets to like, you know, she getting soft. Hey, wait, what am I, what's going on? Let's go somewhere. Let's do something. Amen. I don't want her to go there too soon, sooner than she need to. Amen. Amen. But I love my mother. Amen. She is... <clears throat> And my father of the two that gave me this, which is God. Amen. They more than gave them to me. They lived the life before me. Amen. Amen. And I know one thing, and no, nobody encouraged me. This woman wouldn't follow me nowhere. Preacher to otherwise. If I wasn't doing what's right. Amen. She, she stand on that. Amen. Because see, her thing, her whole thing is. She ain't gonna let you, me, sister, brother, nobody help her miss in sweet Jesus. Amen. Amen. She ain't trust, she ain't let you miss, she ain't gonna let you make her miss her trip. Amen. Amen. And, and, and I thank God for that because she's my she's my greatest supporter. Amen. Amen. And when I look over and I see her at times, it just it makes me want to continue. Amen. Amen. It's my drive. Amen. It's my it's my force to keep on yes, pleasing yes. God. Amen. amen. Because I'm giving back to her what she gave me all my yes, life. Amen. Yes, that and that's amen. God. Amen. amen. And see, that's what mother, that's what that real motherhood is all about. Give taking them, training them children to where I say in the way they should go. But I promise you, when the devil get try to get a hold to them, he might he might for a while, but that God you gave them is still inside them. Amen. amen. Because when they're old, they won't depart. Amen? Amen. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to all of our mothers today. And I step a little further than some preachers. All of the sisters that would aspire to be a mother. 
Hallelujah. We thank God for you too. Amen. We ain't leaving nobody, trying to leave nobody out. Amen. We want to love on everybody. And I so hate, amen, some scenario because in our church, amen, uh, God had just gave me <clears throat> uh, one year. I just, and ever since that, I had just did it. And um, I would go downtown to Flower Market and I just get, uh, I never had the number. I just, whatever I thought would be enough. Uh, five gallon, three or four, five gallon tubs of roses, flowers, different kind, lilies, roses, and daisies, and with the breath, baby breath and all that in the plastic. And I would have the young people of the church come and we put those um, um, bouquets together for the mother. Amen. And I, every mother, every even fan, uh, even those that came that were, you know, some a lot of like, like, like pastor and first lady in the midst today. Um, even visitors that would come, amen. I didn't want no mother or no woman to leave the service without a, without a flower, a presentation. And you know why? Um, one year, the, the, the first year actually I did it, we had a real healthy crowd of, of visitors and all of the visitors received their flowers and as church had dismissed and then I was not leaving, one of the visitors, ladies, she came and she just was boohooing and crying. She said, Bishop, I so love that service today. I so sure enjoyed that message. Amen. But I really want to say to you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. She said, this is the first time I've ever received roses. You remember that? Amen. On Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Not even from my husband or from my children. And this was so endearing and touching my heart today. And I just want to let you know, you made this mother very happy. And man, look, how could I not, how could I not absorb that? Amen. Amen. How could I not, you know, embrace that? Amen. And from that Sunday on, I mean, from that year on, till like about a few years ago, I maintained that. I didn't get it from the church. I took it out of my pocket. Hallelujah. I said, I didn't get it from the church. I took it out of my pocket. Amen. amen. Because I did not want, amen, no mother or woman to come ever to that our ministry and not feel happy and blessed that particular Sunday because that's the day that we give homage to our mothers. Amen. 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 And to women, my thing is to women at large. Amen. Because when we speak of the negative ones, I feel more that it's to us to amen. I advantage to praise all of them. Amen. Because that might help some of them that ain't being the what they need to be to become what they need to be if we love them. Amen. He says, but love and kindness have I drawn thee. Amen. You get, you, you get a whole lot better uh, 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 um, working when you're loving and kind and, and caring and thoughtful. Not bitter, harsh, and you know, rude and all that. That don't help. Amen. amen. So, amen. Again, to all of our mothers, we love you, we love you, we love you. And we pray that God will continue to sustain you, continue to bless you, and continue to use you. For his glory, amen, amen, and for his <coughs> honor, amen. Let's look to the word, amen. I got a passage. Um, typically, amen, I, uh, I don't always um, go with the, the stride of certain days and themes and all, but things are good, amen. Um, th things are good and they're beneficial as things, <coughs> things are and can be, amen. And... Um, I thought it was fitting today to a man uh, look into a Mother's Day theme, amen. Amen. Uh, a Mother's Day's theme, and that uh, we really blessed, truly blessed our mothers today and encouraged them in and through the Word of God, amen. amen. Venture with me to the book of uh, 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 1, 1 Samuel chapter 1, uh, the message is entitled to the entire book, the whole chapter, I would dare not read you the whole chapter, amen, but for continuity, <coughs> for continuity and for scripture relevance and perspective. And we want to begin at verse one and 
we're going to go down to verse 11. We're going to go down to verse 11. If you want to, you can, I appreciate those standing for the reference of, um, for the respect of the word. You, I was going to say, you can take your seat though. I have a few verses, amen. I, I know you reverence God. If you want to stand, go ahead. But you can sit down, amen. You can sit down for the, the sake of what I have a few uh, scriptures that I want to cover. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. <clears throat> now, there was a certain man of, I always trip on this, Ramah Theron Zophim of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah. It's the son of Jeraham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Zephyr, and Ephronite. And he had two wives. The name of one was Hannah. Say Hannah. Hannah. And the name of the other, Paniah. Say Paniah. Paniah. And Paniah had children, but Hannah had no children. And this man went up out of the city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto yearly to yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. Say Shiloh. Wow. And the two sons of Eli. Hophini and Phineas, the priests of the Lord, were they. And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Paniah his wife and to all her sons, say her sons, and her daughters, say her daughters, portions. But unto Hannah, say Hannah, he gave a worthy portion for he loved Hannah. Say he loved Hannah. He loved Hannah. Amen. But the Lord had shut up her womb. Mm -hmm. And her adversary also provoked her sore for to make her fret. Because the Lord had shut up her womb. By year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so the prophet, the provoked, the provoked her went up. Let me go back. And when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her. Therefore, she wept. Say she wept, she wept. and did not eat. Amen. Then said Elkanah, her husband, to her. Hannah, why weepest thou? And why eatest thou not? And why is thy heart grieved? Say heart grieved. heart grieved. Am not I better to thee than ten sons? So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh and after they had drank. Now Eli, the priest, set up a seat by a porch, a post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness, say bitterness, yeah. of the soul and prayed, say she prayed, Pray. unto the Lord and wept sorely. And she vowed a vow, say she vowed a vow, wow. and said, O oh Lord, of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me, say remember me, and not forget thine handmaiden, but will give unto thine handmaiden a man child, yes. then will, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life and there shall no razor come upon 
his head. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for your audience. Do you see why I said you could have took your seats? But thank you for your respect. Amen. To the Arthur as well as to the word of God. I believe this to be the word of God. I present it to you this morning in that fashion. I am praying the words of scripture where the gospel writer records before one jot or one tittle of this word shall pass away heaven and earth shall pass away but the word this word the word of our God who shall stand forever that you believe that with me man let's just give God a, a quick sweet wave offering and say to him even this day even this day with the interest of your prayers, amen, because I definitely, we definitely preaching and prayer go together, amen. amen. Uh, we, we not going to be a long time with you, but we want to be obedient, amen, to God. And we want to truly have a word, a sound word, amen, of love and encouragement, amen, to all of our mothers, to all of us today, but definitely to love and encourage our women of God today. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. Look to a neighbor if there's one with you. And if it's not, just share it in that. And just put it in the, in the sanctuary. Just, just say it in the sanctuary in the words, in your words. Is there, is there a Hannah, a Hannah in, the house? in the house? If so, if so where, where, where is, she? is she? Amen. Is there a Hannah in the house? Amen. And if so, where is she? Yes. <laughs> this passage of scripture, amen, in laying out the groundwork to it, the intro of it, amen, um, it's obvious that the subject matter today of this, this, this passage of scripture, um, particularly for this beautiful Lord's Day being the day that we're honoring our mothers and Mother's Day today, um, Hannah is the main subject yeah. of this passage of scripture. Her husband, Elkanah, he is part, amen, subject of this passage of scripture today. And her nemesis, her adversary, Paniah, is also part way of subject matter to this passage of scripture. The particulars about it, amen, are so. There are many particulars, amen, and um, uh, uh, um, um, respectfully, amen, I'll, I read down to verse 11 for, the, again, the continuity to put us in the, pres the presence, the real perspective of the passage. Um, but then there's so much meat that goes along with it, amen, um, beyond verse 11, all the way to verse 28, and I'll touch on it as I go, amen, but I dare not uh, read all of that in our hearing this morning, amen. But these three, if you will, uh, people, these three, these two women, which were wives of this one man, we heard the, the, the reading dictation suggest to us that, amen, um, Obviously, they were a home that feared and reverenced God. Yeah. Mm. Can I get a witness? Yeah. They feared and reverenced God. How you know? How you, how you know that? Bishop it don't say that. Yeah, it does say it. It says yearly. Mm. They would go up to Shiloh. Yeah. And in the idea, the knowledge thereof, to know the framework of framework of what Shiloh was or is or represents. Shiloh was just like as going to Jerusalem. Uh, Shiloh was the, a city, a holy city, a man near to where their convents, uh, their uh, 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 their uh, confines were, a man where they lived either. And Shiloh was a place that represented. Amen. The holiness of God. A temple was there in Shiloh. Just like the temple that was in Jerusalem. And again, in Shiloh, those that lived in the area of it went there yearly for the time of prayer. 
in the in their in their worship in their confines of 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 of, of their um, mannerisms and their culture. We do know, Amen, that um, those people, those um, people that made up the early um, perspective of churches from and outside of the Book of Acts and beyond, Amen, and even thereafter, we know that they were always. Um, invested in some type of a feast. They had so many feasts, a feast after feast after feast after feast. Not only feasts that when anyone got married, always having a marriage feast. Can I get a witness? Amen. The point being, though, in their culture, their culture was a culture that always gave prudence and reverence to the great God of their salvation. How? By worshiping and acknowledging all of the feasts that was on their docket to have. This particular family of God, amen, it was not a, a strange thing for the husband to have more than one wife. Well, I know somebody might have been thinking, well, how they a holy family, God, a family God, and man got two wives. Oh, well, that was their culture, say culture. That was their culture. It was nothing for the man of God or the man to have more than one wife. It was more for him to have several wives and several uh, 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 concubines, they was what they were called, man, uh, head handmaidens. And why was that so? Again, because it was, say, their culture. Amen. It was their culture. Many instances were that if the brother of he and he had uh, uh, wives and children, he would automatically take his son, his uh, uh, husband man's or his brother's uh, uh, family in. There was no question about it then because it was their culture. Amen. That's how he has two wives. In this particular passage, a man, as I lay it out for you real quickly, one wife was a happy wife. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know the salutation, happy wife, happy life. Amen. Uh, not all the time. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. You, you acknowledge with me. Thank you, Doc. Bless your heart. Amen. Not all the time, but let's say for the sake of, you know, the perspective of the, of the salutation. Happy wife, happy life. Amen. Say amen. amen. Say amen, happy wife. Amen. Oh, oh y'all ain't cool for the happy wife. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to lift y'all. Amen. Bless your hearts. Amen. Happy life. Happy wife. Amen. One was happy. The other one was not. One was happy. Why so, Bishop? One was happy because in as much all of the things that presented to her and allowed and made her to be a happy wife, happy woman, she had all of those things at her disposal. She was a happy woman, she was a happy wife, she had a good husband, say good husband. Good husband. Now, I thought y'all was going to yell that, but amen. She had a good husband. Yeah. Oh man, mama beats me. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> and y'all see how she did it. She looked over her mask. Amen. Bless the Lord. She was happy because all those things that made a happy wife a good wife, she had. Along with not just blessed to have a good husband, but she had children. And that within itself, take away the rest, was the recipe yet for her to be, yes, a happy woman. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about Penaya. Yes, she was the happy wife. Yes. But then our passages, the scripture and the passages, main subject matter, the, the one that the epic of the, the, the scenario uh, is really, 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 really related to, uh, Sister Hannah. Sister Hannah was the unhappy wife. Yes, now, let's just interrogate that for just a quick minute um, of her reason for unhappiness. Her unhappiness was not predicated upon the fact that she had a bad husband because, 
Elkanah was also good to her. Yeah. All of her needs were met. Can I get a witness? Yeah. She didn't suffer a want for anything. She didn't desire anything. And if she desired it, she got it. Why so? Glad you didn't ask. Because Elkanah, her husband, was again a good husband. And the text says that he let more favor on her. Well, if he had more favor for her, and if he was more, you know, cool and you know, you know, on her tip, why and how would she want and need to be unhappy? I'm glad you did that. Her unhappiness, bless God, was not predicated upon the fact that. She uh, 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 was 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 infused and living under the wrong, uh, running under, living under the taskmaster of a rude and crude and uh, 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 slave driving husband. No, 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 no. That's not the kind of husband he she had. Nor was that the kind of man or husband uh, Elkanah was to her as well as Peniel. No, beg the differ. He was a good husband. Yes, sir. He was a loving husband. And he was a caring husband. Yes, sir. So it wasn't not because of the, the, the husband's perspective that brought her uh, 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 unhappiness. And as the text goes on to say, poor Hannah, she was beyond unhappy. The text says and suggests that she was bitter. Amen. Although her name, Hannah, means Amen. Favor and grace. This woman yet had in her life bitterness, soreness, unhappiness, and to boot, she was always weeping and crying. Hallelujah. Just weeping and crying. She was, that, that, that's the recipe of an unhappy woman. Can I get a witness? Yes. Well, to the heart of the matter, I'm pushing on through. Amen. Her unhappiness and her bitterness, Mama Jerry, was wrapped up all in one simple thing. Amen. Again, it was not and conducive to her husband. He wasn't mean. He was loving. He was kind. He was caring. He was affordable. He took care of everything. She had a good man. But as a good man, that didn't stop her from yet having a desire in her heart that she wanted something that she could not have. Have you ever been in a place in your life, mothers, where there were things that you desired for yourself, let alone for your children or your family. And yes, 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 yes. It made you hurt. It made you sad. It might have even made you cry because you wanted to love on your family and give them and do the best that you could for them. And there were things that you had in your spirit that you wanted to do. But unfortunately, because of situations, unfortunately, because of things, unfortunately, because of uh, 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 situations in your life, what you wanted, you could not have. Amen. What you desired, yes. you couldn't reach it. Mm -hmm. What you, what you in your, in your, in your uttermost. I mean, in your heart of hearts. See, mamas have a mamas have special places in their heart, in their life, in their minds, in their hearts, in their spirits. There are different places that uh, uh, just mere uh, some just mere women and so no, uh her children or family may never ever know. Yes, uh, yes. See, because a mama, a real show, not mama, a real mama, she's going to have a perspective about her about, for the fact of whatever it takes, I'm going to make sure that my family is safe and secure. I'm going to make sure that they have the essentials. I'm going to, beyond the, the our Father prayer gives us our daily bread, I'm going to ensure that they have their daily bread. I'm going to make sure that they their clothes are together. I'm going to make sure 
that my husband is comfortable, amen, and make sure that I'm a ruler, a true wife to him, so that he won't have to get his eye twisted and caught up on somewhere else. Y'all need to talk back to me. Ain't no way to put it but real and right, amen? amen? Well, that's why some of them artists in, the, in, in back in the days, they had songs that they made up and I, some of them wasn't good to play with, amen. You know, uh, 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 you know, the clean up woman. And, amen, somebody. Y'all know them. Don't you act like you don't know it. Amen. Those type of songs that suggest what you won't do, another woman will. Amen. The devil is a lie. A real woman. Say a real woman. And a real woman of God. A real mother. She ain't gonna have none of that town food be going on. Amen. Why so? Because she's gonna make sure mm -hmm. that I'm number one and the only one, and everything about it here, mm -hmm. I got. Yeah. Yeah. Hannah could say that, but then she couldn't say that. Uh -huh. Why so? Because out of everything she had, the one thing she really wanted. Uh -huh. She could not have. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And bless your hearts, mamas, today, our beloved mothers, I bless God that hopefully, truly uh, in your life, that you never really had to come across any Hannah experiences in your life as being a mother, showing up being as your Christian women, godly women, amen, that you never had to approach no Hannah experiences in your life. Why? Because that Hannah experience is an awful experience. This Hannah experience is an experience that you would not want to wish, wish on no woman. Amen. Friend of all. Because yes. Hannah has something going on, bless his name, that only God Amen. could fix. Amen. I know y'all know what praying is all about because that's what you do. Can I get a witness? Amen. I said, I know you know about, about praying because I know that's what you do. Amen. In the midst of Hannah's sorrow, bitterness, as the text says, and her contingent hurt and woe, the woman was always walking around weeping, Weeping and crying is two different things, Josh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, you can cry. I mean, I just shed a tear a few minutes ago because I'm a, 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 I was in, um, exhausted my mother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's dear. That was dear to me. Can I get a witness? Yes, sir. But weeping yes, sir. is another perspective totally. Because when you're weeping, that comes from a, that comes from a, bless God, that comes from a, 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 a place within you, a, a, a low, a deep, a resided place in you that comes from a death and nothing, nothing, nothing can stop it only to allow those weeping tears wow. yes, to flow. Yes, when your heart is hurt, when your heart is aching, those kind of tears can't be stopped. Can I get a witness? Yes, no consolation can be consolation. Why? Because your bitterness, yes, sir. your hurt, yeah. Your pain, your anguish comes from that place where those tears yeah. derive from. Amen. This poor woman, happy in all the essence, other essences in her life, but was hurt mm -hmm. in this one perspective, which was God had dried up her womb. Yes. And she could not give her, watch this. She could not give her good husband, her loving husband. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yes, Amen. I'm trying to put this put it together for you. Uh, her, her good, loving, and and let's go. I'm, I'm gonna give him his flowers. Amen. Her good, loving, and faithful husband. Amen. Amen. And that gotta be said. Amen. Yes, sir. She could not give him number one, but she knew he wanted. Well, no husband that was, you know, was satisfied with not having children by each or all of his wives. Amen. Again, that was their culture. Amen. She was bitter because what she wanted the most, not only to honor her husband, 
but it was also an honor to herself. Because a woman in that day that wasn't able to bear children was looked upon and ostracized yeah. in a very cruel and un uncool way, a very negative way. She just like the essence of it, as the text said, Panaya had everything, yeah. including the children. Yeah. And, but she had no heart for Hannah who could not have and had no children. Yes, sir. Text said she was she would throw her. Yes, sir. She would, she would tease her and talk ill to her and cast her down. Yes, sir. Speak evil of, of, of her. You know, folk can be nasty when they want to be. Right. Folk can be hurtful when they want to be. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Say all kind of mean and evil things. Mm -hmm. Hurt you to your core. That's what Panaya did her. Right. And she did it to her every day. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Each day, every day of your life. First of all, you're already miserable within yourself. Yes, sir. Because what you can't have, can't do, amen, to be the full woman that you want to be and need to be. So I want to say amen. amen. Could not your husband in that one fact, amen, couldn't, couldn't give him what would lay him to be a, you know, a, 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 a prosperous man that made them prosperous. That's another part of the perspective of their culture. Man being able to bear children, amen, especially sons. He was, a, he was a profitable man. Yes, sir. Well endowed man. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. She could not give her good man, her honorable man, the best thing that she could ever give him, which was a, a son, a child. For you, the text goes on to say that every year he would take his family to Shiloh. And they would go up to worship God. Yeah. They would go up to worship God because it was their custom. I like to look at it as, as, as giving benefit of the doubt and perspective that they go on up to worship God because they love God. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm, I'm believing that they went up each year to Shiloh because they were going to make their sacrifice unto the God of their salvation because they loved God, they feared God, and they wanted the blessings of God Amen. in and upon their life. Amen. So every year, without fail, they were going up to Shiloh yeah. to worship God, uh -huh. to sacrifice unto him. Many times, I'm sure, Paniah, Pan uh, she had all of her children uh, gathered together and they too worshiped God. You see, in those days, the whole family worshiped. Yes, sir. It wasn't just the husband, it wasn't just the father, it wasn't just, the whole family had a part to play in the worship experience. Mm -hmm. But then there was poor Hannah. Yeah. Poor Hannah was sitting there, was not able to participate in the entire worship setting like uh, all the other women that would come up with each family and even like the other wife in her own family, Panaya, but she had to sit there and suffer and watch her, her antagonistic uh, foe uh, uh, be giddy and laughy and happy and, 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 and all that with her children and bowing them down by bowing them down the right way to pray unto God. So, you know, they had to bow. They didn't just do it, you know, what we do. They bowed. They got down on the floor. Amen. It was a certain posture, say posture, that they had to have in their again. This is their worship. This is their culture, say culture. And as their culture was so, they did not just stand up. They did not stand up or sit down and pray unto God. No, no. They worshiped. They bent down on their with their faces to the ground. And they worshiped God with their sacrifice on the altar. And they prayed unto God and asked God to have mercy on their family and to continue to bless them. And to keep them together as a family. There was a it was a it was a real a reality in their worship. Pope She could pray, but some part of her prayer was omitted. But this particular event up to Shiloh, at least I bore you, had to tell you the story. Yes, sir. This 
particular time going up to Shiloh. She said within herself, again, bitterness of soul, pain, woe, hurt, agony, unhappy, walk around, Chantel crying, weeping all the time. We got to understand that this woman was disturbed. Think about, you ain't got to even go that deep, but just think about some of the stuff that can cut you the wrong way. Mamas, I'm talking to y'all. Think about some of the stuff, your hard-headed child won't come on talk back to me in here. Won't obey. Won't listen. But you keep on and you keep on and get your word. I'm going to stop giving this and I'm going to stop doing that. And I'm going to stop and I'm going to, I'm going to, And you don't stop. You never stop and ain't going to stop. And that's your love for them. Amen. That's your love for them. But that joker, that sister, little sister girl, keep on clowning. And will not, for the life of you, not them, love you back by simply obeying your word. It's a constant fight. Can I get a witness? I said it's a constant fight. It's a constant fight that we, you have to, how many nights did you be on your knees instead of in your bed with your head on a pillow of peace? Amen. Praying to God. And I don't care how old or how young they were, that what something was going on that wasn't in the will of God and was not conducive to you as a mother to them, you were on your knees crying out to God, Lord! Hallelujah, hallelujah. My child. Lord, touch them wherever they at. Look, you don't even know where they at to save your own life. You can't call them and go look for them if you wanted to. But you had to put them in the hands of God. Yeah. This woman, I love the factor of, like, y'all get to, I've heard my mama say it several times, y'all get to this point of view very often in your life. You get to that point of view that say enough is enough. Yes. Can I get a witness? I know y'all done went, I know y'all done been there. Amen. Amen. And, and, and some of y'all might, might might have a key. Uh, Amen. To that sweet. Amen. Amen. The enough is enough sweet. Mm. You know, that you put your key and you go on into it, you go on to hold on and reside there a little while, because you know you got something you gotta go in there and do, which is like the word say, uh then go to your secret closet. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. And when you get in it, shut the door. Hallelujah. And the word says that the God that hears the secret, he shall. Somebody say, he shall. He shall, he shall reward you openly. Hallelujah. How many times did you have to find you a closet? Mm -hmm. And how many times you had to go in it and shut the door? Amen, amen. And how many times did you have to go in that closet and go on your knees and cry out to God and ask God to have mercy, please? Lord, I need you right now. And I need you right away. Well, poor, poor Hannah had this experience, this, 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 this perspective time of her and the family going up to Shiloh. Uh -huh. And the word tells us, amen, that this particular time when they went up to Shiloh, amen, uh, Hannah did not do as she would do oftentimes by assembling with the family and going up to sacrifice together with them. This particular time, uh, Hannah made a detour. The Bible said, the word tells us that Hannah made a detour. And when she made this detour, she was confronted. She met up with a man, a man of God by the name of Eli. Yes. And when she, amen, saw the man of God, she knew surely that he was a man of God. And she approached him and she, as she was approaching him, she, she came up to him and she said, Wilt thou allow thou man, your maid servant, to enter and talk? To God. Yes. See, again, that was culture because she was not supposed to be going in there by herself. She's supposed to be accompanied with her husband. Uh -huh. She's supposed to be accompanied with her family. Can I get a witness? Yes. But she she made a detour. Say she detoured. Yes. She detoured and she went to go and pray for herself. Yes. She went to pray because she was tired of this bitterness. 
She went to pray and talk to God for herself. Why? Because she was tired of weeping and wailing. She made a detour because she was tired of Benaiah's constant agitation, mocking and talking about her and disrespecting her simply because she could not do one thing which was bear a child. How many of our mothers today can be related to that point of view? You had family that didn't always respect you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You had families that did not always uh, uh, love you and like you yes, to the degree that you liked and loved them. Can I get a witness? Amen. You were hurt and you were crushed. Amen. Like you was a piece of trash and some of them still stepped on you and had the nerve to say they love you. Right if that's your idea of love, please don't love me. That's what Hannah was, going, was dealing with. And she got tired of being sick and tired. And I know so enough that the mamas here today know something about being sick and tired. And I'm sick and tired and enough is enough. Hallelujah. As I leave you today, this poor woman of God, yes, she was a woman of God, but this woman of God had some issues. And she had some issues, Chantel, that she knew that she could not resolve on her own. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. She had some things in her life that was not allowing her to be able to live to the ex her own expectations. Yes. Not just the expectations of her fellow countrymen and fellow sisterhood in, the, in their province, but she was not able to live up to her own standards. Simply because she felt like she was not complete as a woman. She felt like she was not complete as a woman. She felt like she was not complete as a wife. She felt like she was not complete by desiring and wanting the one thing she did not have and desiring the one thing she could not do for herself. Well, 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 what did, what did old Sister Hannah do? I told you that she made a detour. She made a detour and she left uh, Elkanah in the detour. She made a detour and she left Paniah in the detour. And she left all of the children of Paniah, her mocker, she left them by making the detour. Well, she made the detour. And by making the detour, the word says that she approached the porch of the temple, she was met by a man sitting on the pole, by the post. And she looked upon him, Mama B, and said, surely he is a man of God. He looked like a man of God. Well, that was a blessing because nowadays, sometimes, Pastor, some pastors, some preachers don't look like a man of God. And can I get a witness on that? Amen. But she saw this man and she realized just that he was a man of God and she approached him because you gotta remember the culture it wasn't that it wasn't right it wasn't prudent for a woman to approach a man especially not with her husband I'm trying to give you the culture of this thing somebody say hallelujah and as she approached him though she still approached him and she approached him modestly and respectfully she said unto him surely would you allow your maid servant, bless God's holy name, to enter into the temple to worship the great God of her salvation. He looked down upon her. And you know in those days, God truly spoke to folk. Can I get a witness? He truly spoke to the prophets. He truly spoke to the apostles. He truly spoke to the preachers. He truly spoke disciples. He truly spoke to those that anybody in who all was living according to his name and being what he called them to be. He looked upon her and as he looked down upon her, Chantel, he saw the Holy Ghost gave 
with this, Doc. He saw she was not just a regular sister. She, he saw that she was not happy like all the other women would be. No, no. He looked up on her and he saw her anguish. He saw her bitterness and he saw her tears. Although she had not been dry then, she had been crying profusely. In your own life, mothers, when you've had to cry, when you've had to cry all night long, but still in the daylight, morning came, you might not be crying at that moment, but you can show tears, dry tears on your cheeks, because you have been crying, oh bless God's name, all night long. Well, that's what the man of God saw. She didn't have to be crying then, but he showed up saw that she was a woman that was disturbed and a woman in travail. Don't you ever get to a place in your life where you're going through and have to travail. That's not a good place. Can I get a witness? Travail is not a happy place. Travail it's a place that represents something that's out of pain, something that's out of woe, something that's out of circumstance, that's beyond your control. Hallelujah. I'm going to leave you right here. Story says that Eli saw her pain. The
you got to respect what she said. That I might be able to give my husband a child, not children. Look at her prayer now. She didn't pray for a whole lot of kids like her adversary had. No, no. She prayed and she asked God if he would give her a man child. One child. One boy. Not a boy and a girl. Are you hearing me? But she prayed and asked God to give her a child. And she was specific in her prayer. Woman of God, don't you let the devil make you not be specific when you talk to your God, the great God of your salvation. When you go to 